Okay, a great question, Mr. Russ, which is awesome. I am holding a thousand shares of NNOX at twenty three eighty nine. Now, Russ only likes stock; he's not very familiar with options. I'm going to talk to Russ. I'm going to help him understand options. Now, I'm not going to get Russ in trouble. I'm not going to explain options like, dude, so you're going to be really quick, and if you don't do it quick, you're going to lose your money. And blah, blah. That's not what I'm about. I'm all about risk management, okay? You hear me talking about options. You say, this guy's crazy. He's not for me, blah, 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 blah. That's not true. I would rather you buy out options. Buy a leap year options like I'm talking about Carnival or Delta. Give yourself more time. All right, so you're holding 1,000 shares, 2389. You're down 1,800. What would I suggest? Okay. So I would not suggest averaging down because I mentioned there's a bear on the other side. Now, the good news is you're only down less than 10%. A lot of us that have stock, I have it on my spreadsheet. I'm down more than 10%. I averaged down. It went down a little more. Um, I played with some options. They went down a little bit. Okay. So I want to get you into options. I want you to sell your 1,000 shares. So you're selling this. You now have $24,000 on the side. Okay. Uh, not 24. You'll have uh, $22,000. Let's say the stock's at $22,000. $22,000 on the side. You're down $1,800. Okay. That's not going to change. We'll just say you're down $2,000. So you want to make $2,000 back. So there's episode 14, which I do, which talks about selling stock at a loss, converting it to options using a lot less money. So you're going to have $22,000 on the side. I'm not going to tell you to do that. I'm going to help you right now. And I'm going to look at... Uh, this option, and I'm sorry for everybody else, but this is actually a learning experience because if you're beat up in a specific stock, what you could do is sell the stock, take the loss, take the 40% loss, the 60% loss, the 10% loss. I don't care. Play an option that's out there. So I'm going to tell Russ, okay, Russ, we're going to go out there. We're going to go to real safe for you. We're going to go out to December. Okay. It's almost a leap year. It's the end of the year. So two things are going to happen by December. NNOX is going to go down to $16 because it's a fabrication company and it's bullshit and it sucks. Not possible, okay? In my opinion. What's going to happen is the market's going to stabilize. Israel's Palestine is going to stabilize. They're going to get out their 1,000 equipment you know, machine. They charge like $4 million per machine, okay? It's very expensive. They have different uh, partnerships here. So what's really going to happen is the stock's probably going to go up to maybe $80 or $90 in my opinion. But we don't need that for Russ because what are we doing? We're going out till, what did I say? December of this year. So he's going to go and he's going to buy the $20 calls, which are currently $5.20 um, if you pay the ask. He's not going to pay the ask. So he's going to put in, he's going to buy uh, four contracts at $5, right? Maybe he'll pay a little less. I'm going to talk to him. I'm probably going to try and get him at $4.70 or something like that. But for realistic numbers, he'll buy five contracts. They're... Uh, We'll say five dollars each. So that's twenty five hundred dollars that he's putting in. He has twenty two thousand on the side now. He's putting in a tenth of his money. Twenty two, twenty five hundred dollars. Okay. Um, his call is at uh, twenty dollars. So when the stock goes up to let's say thirty five dollars, I think it's going to eighty. I think it's going to seventy five by December. Sixty dollars, sixty five dollars. But let's just say it goes to thirty five dollars. No, let's just say it goes to yeah. Let's say thirty five dollars. That makes each contract worth. $1,500, okay? He's got five contracts, now it's worth 7,500, okay? He put in 2,500, now they're now worth 7,500. 25 to 7, he made $5,000. He's down 2,000, he made 5,000. So he made $3,000, and instead of investing $20,000 like he has right now, 22 in it, he's only putting $2,500 in. So this is the lesson we were probably gonna talk about when we spoke, Russ, but now you got a free one here.